Sometimes I hiccup and stutter. Sometimes I vomit and mutter. But it's all because sometimes I journey to the tip of the bottle. Oh, and then I take a trip to the toilet with my stomach running full throttle. And I get on my knees if I'm praying to God. But my lord's drunk a facade. And then I nod with a splendid eruption. Now I end my introduction. Moves, bellowing, the ring again, signaling the tickle and swell, the bottom moves like a thunderous hell, burning up my dignity in the venom with spell, with the dry heaving, the dry tongue, weaving the cold tongue, sticking the tears from my eyes, I'm screaming, and I believe now my mouth, the red cherry, blueberry, bubblegum, rum, try to vodka, but it's a better deal when you make a meal, out of a bottle with a cheaper label, and I'm ready and able to prove my points. So don't you scoff at the dollar store knockoff, because the brand's name's the Trump scheme, the true fame is found at the bottom, the bottom, from the bottom stuff that I found myself passed out last night on the sticky tile floor of the liquor store. But I wanted more, and feel like a whale washed ashore. I bar hop to the puke stop, my flow to go to the bogo solo bargain at the nearest bar again. I met a little bowl of her blonde girl's cardigan, and then when I saw the stars within, she slapped my face, began happy mass with a lesbian harlequin. Some of the dribble spittled on the floor. The spit from the mixer, french fries, and so much more. Sometimes I gag, sometimes I hack, spew, and I drag myself into another gutter. Sometimes I get and stutter. Sometimes I vomit and mutter. But sometimes I regret the fate of the set of my stomach brewing up some trouble under a thousand burning bubbles, making me shaking quick in my bowels with reinforced agony. Of course, my discourse is just word vomit, but I'm on it, I'm ready to purge. Does that mean I'm a problem child if my problems are mild? I'm just wild, carefree, and hairstyled with the speed of my strut, because naturally, the bachelor in me is a bastard, dastardly sexy, swearing up to the girls, climbing the backs of Grey Goose and Hennessy, while well, I'm drinking anything that gives me something like a zombies. Somebody please save me, but all the pretty babies are taking headshots of tequila and cognac, and after I double tap my brains with Jack, it's all deliriously real, all leading up to a trembling slumber that I get when I get the last girl's number. And maybe this time I'll wear a rubber, but if not, I'll truck it up to another drunken blunder, and wait for the aroma of a coma, so come a toast, the most excellent splendor of a night I'll never remember. And maybe I'll try AA again next December. As the last long line, a sweet liqueur hangs from my open lips, dangling down into my treasure chest of misery. I wonder if it's all worth it. If I'm going down the wrong path of broken bottles. Sometimes I forget that inner monologue isn't just word vomit. And that maybe I shouldn't throw my conscience down the drain. But then I look down at my toilet and remember that I've already flushed mine away.